just Uh, so uh, we are uh, today we are uh, going to do uh, some interactions related to PHP unit test and code coverage. One second. So when we are going to use uh, the uh, questions is when we are going to use the PHP unit and what is the PHP unit? Why we should use the PHP unit or when, where, and then at last how we will use the PHP unit. So I think everyone have a, a like a basic uh, a knowledge of the PHP unit and what PHP unit is do. Uh, please let me know. Okay, I'm considering everyone have a, the basic uh, PHP unit understanding, but itself, what is PHP unit? If the basic questions is this, so PHP unit is a code where we can uh, test uh, small functions like the basic unit. It means the basic, the small functions, classes, many things, but it's the basic things. So basically PHP unit testing is a framework for PHP programming language and it is used to write and run automated test for the PHP code to ensure the code is working or not. By using PHP unit testing, a developer can catch bugs and solve easily. So this is the basic of the PHP unit. So what we'll cover in this sessions so what is the php unit testing unit test with the php unit how to write the test cases uh, writing the <coughs> unit test case with php unit and advantages and disadvantages of the php unit so before starting the php unit testing so we must understand the how many type of tests we have so basically we have a four type of uh, test cases first is the unit testing as i told it tests the smallest unit of functionalities from a developer point of view it focus is to make sure one function does what it's supposed to do that it should have a minimum or no dependence on the functions in classes it should be done in the memory which means it should not connect to the database access the network use file system and so on unit testing should be simple and the integration second one is the integration tests it combines units of codes and test the combinations works correctly uh, if anyone have a uh, any confusion please ask me and stop me so it's the pretty simple integration testing and the system testing it's create the simulate the real time scenarios and the lifetime environment it is built on the top of integrations and acceptance testings finally so as you see the picture of this so unit testing is the pillar of all kind of testing so integration testing system testing acceptance testing all comes after the unit testing so unit testing is the base of 
from the pyramid above we can tell that unit testing is the building bricks of all other testings when we build a strong base we are able to build a solid applications however writing tests manually and running through them each time you make a change is tedious what if there is a tool to automate the process for you it will become the absolutely more enjoyable to write the test cases this is where the unit test comes unit test is currently most popular unit testing framework besides providing the features such as mocking objects it provide code coverage analysis logging and tons of other powerful features so we will also see uh, the unit testing e installations everyone if you want to do the unit testing you must have to install the composer and we'll see the basic installations today and will run a sample applications although i have already made a sample applications but if you want to do from the scratch i have made a sample applications i have also tabulated here what to do and how to do uh for the installing you have to install the php unit first and then to check the latest versions and we have to create a folder inside the test cases like this i have created a folder test and then when you install the php unit itself the vendor folder will gets created and a report folder is when we will uh, try to cover the code coverage then the report folder will comes and now how the test cases i have written it's already open i have written a uh, pretty simple test cases like add subtract and the it's checking the functions of the calculator functions i have already the calculator functions there is a functions add subtract multiplications divide and for this applications like the calculator class for the calculator class i have written a basic applications a uh, basic test cases psp unit test cases the calculator test and the subtractor as i have a mentions you uh, after the test case folder we have to also create the php unit xml basically in the php unit xml we will provide we are going to provide php xml when this will get run from where this will take so this will take from here and in the test cases we should use every functions with the suffix of test so when we use test uh, like the add we want to test add so we will use the test add and subtract and now i am going to run and here we have to use the for checking the assert like as a diff in php unit we have a different type of assertions for reference you can uh, go and check here for different type of assert assertions and what assertions is basically do like when you, we are checking our result so when we can see 
this is as this is array or this is not array suppose we are expecting the returns array so then we can uh, see this is array or not so we have a uh, assert has array key so and also we can uh, check if we are uh, checking the addition so we can uh, check the value is exactly same or not like when we are uh, checking the addition so we must have the uh, like equal values so in my applications i have uh, used the assert equal so when we check the addition so this should assert equal so different type of assertions we can uh, check from here any questions so far if anyone want to ask anything please uh, have anyone tried uh, writing uh, the mm, test cases before uh, yes manish uh, uh, in in uh, align project we are uh, uh, many times uh, to try the unit test cases uh, but one uh, one question in my mind okay please, manish please. okay yes. uh, but now sometimes they ask me to write a test cases uh, on the feature files or the uh, job file as well that includes the uh, db activities as well so yes 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 okay. we can also see uh, there is a if we use the db activities like in, we have a lots of uh, features in the like okay. yes like a uh, uh, user creation or uh, like uh, some uh, data is updated right and see the result is the 200 and uh, 400 right if, API, if you are passing the api and we need to check the api result are 200 or it appears fail or like a validation kind of test cases as well yeah that's true right i'm going to show you I have made a uh, simple applications for that, uh, particularly in Quad. So here uh, I have a use. <laughs> So basically, in uh, Quad, we have a lots of uh, features. There is a database interactions or many things. So we can uh, use like setup and teardown. So uh, uh, like in the PHP, the constructor, like when whenever you are uh, calling any class, the constructions, uh, uh, the constructor called automatically so like in the php unit test we can uh, use the setup functions and tear down functions so whatever you will return uh, you will write in the setup functions the setup functions is being called automatically like the constructor so you can uh, say setup functions is a kind of functions is the similar behave as a constructor like i have uh, initialized many things in the config the all the database interactions involved i will provide uh, this uh, file uh, also so you can uh, see like uh, in our controller under the unit and see. So here, if we want to see the all list of banks, here the database operations is being involved. 
everything is being involved so we have to use the test before this and the functions and respective functions we can uh, under the constructor we have a made uh, object and with that object we are able to call this functions so uh, I mean, this is what you are asking or something else. Yeah, no, same, same. And one question under, okay, uh, this solve my doubt. And one is, uh, is there any uh, 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 software or uh, is there any plugin available to automatically the test case uh, is uh, written directly? Because uh, uh, sometimes few developers are uh, uh, writing a complex code or many functions. So it is very difficult to cover the previously written code, uh, the test case on the previously written code. So is there any uh, uh, packages are available to automatically write the test case? Or we need to write a manually uh, 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 test case on each and every uh, section uh, for a previous code? Because a new fresh code, it is very easy to write a test case. Uh, right, that's right. But you have to do right the manually. Okay. Uh, there okay. is a, uh, I don't know even uh, if anyone have a knowledge, please you can share. I don't know is uh, there any available plugins who can write uh, test cases based on your functions. I don't know. Basically, you have to write and pass the parameters. Uh, that, that's 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 I know because uh, when when I write a code, I I manage those things to uh, easily write a test cases before uh, uh, for create a function because I take care of that things. But uh, it is very difficult to us the previous code because uh, uh, sometimes the uh, because of the time crunch, uh, developer not write the test case. They just uh, uh, do the code and uh, unit and code will be pushed to uh, develop. And uh, for the code coverage, uh, test cases is very important, right? Yeah, code coverage is uh, simply just uh, like the technique which told you how much your code is get covered with this unit testing. Right. Nothing else right. than. Okay, okay. So fine. So now uh, I am going to show you. I have already shown the sample code, and now how we will use as Amya asked us in the previous return. So I have made a, like a unit testing. I have installed the unit testing in the quad. Quad is uh, the legacy project of the learning mate. Mm -hmm. And I have a setup unit testing. Uh, unit test. I, I have installed unit test in the quad. And let me show you these things. So there I will see after running how the result is being printed and how all those things will execute it here. Manish, I think it opened in status. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Oh, set it's opening a different. Thank 
Yeah, so open previous one. As I have a mentions here in the documents, so PHP unit testing we have to install. If we have an install, how we will check the person's things? Let me see. in my system i have installed the php unit 9.5 so this one i think this one is the latest uh, let me show you first the structure this is the quad uh, basically the quad structures how we are using inside this I have used this mm, test folder. Let me rename this so we can start from beginning. Uh, we should start from beginning, or I can show you from the existing one. Uh, you can uh, show the existing also because uh, many people know the uh, when when we are uh, run the package and test folders are created. I think. That's uh, it, yeah. it's other choice also. Uh, this is just uh, my thought. No, that's that's you are true. That's the pretty simple. So actually, I have a created one test file. It's the assessment controller test. So here we can use and the one thing. Suppose anyone can ask me, like uh, suppose we in class we have a many functions and i want to check one by one like is this activity controller we have a lots of functions but i want to check the particularly this functions so how we will go how we'll do this i'm going to show you and the entire functions we can also run our test cases for the entire classes or so here now i am going to so, so first i will write uh, run a sample and then so with the help of group we will going to write uh, like this we can run i'm going to run this for a second the php unit verify I have made another controller PHP unit verify. The basic things I have written here, the one functions PHP unit verify. We are expecting something so 
whatever the grouping we will mention here there is some thing some error assessment control test per side okay And there is some configuration file. Test. Uh, just some base controller is not okay yes Call to member functions. Actually, I am trying to running a one uh, functions one by one. And maybe. It's good to anyone have a quick if uh, the quick catch please let me know i got the object name is different yeah yes should be this So now, after finally, we have a successful test, success insertions. And similarly, we can make a different functions. Like here we seen, like we can call individual functions. Here I have written one functions. And now the same.
power functions is this. So the output will be what we are expecting output three. And we have to change also this. The second function. And we had errors. System controller tests and ones. We can also debug here. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's the copy paste things. So here we can run two like this is the additions and this one is the subtractions. And suppose we want to run both at a time then we have a command called like this docs so here we can see we have a two sample functions is being called and for the code coverage We can run code coverage like this. Code coverage will cover uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, anything so far, uh, any, any test cases you want to write here so I can write and show you or anything uh, related to like I have written a simple, uh, make a simple controller and written a file. Uh, yes, I have not included here DB things. If you want, I can write a DB things also. So far, any confusion, any questions, please let me know. Uh, Manish, okay. Uh, uh... In a test case uh, function, we are writing a comment, right? Correct. So it's uh, it's the four four uh, four lines, right? So uh, is there any rule uh, applicable for that comment? Because, uh, uh, yeah. Yes, yes. It's not necessary to write all four lines. Actually, test case understands only with the group. You have to write group. Yeah. It's no matter. I have uh, 
there is a no mandatory things you have to write or the full uh, four line comments Do you see? It's only mandatory things you have to write the group. You have to told the program which, uh, like, what is the parameter by which they will execute. So I am saying, you know, you have to run only functions which have the group name is the sample. Others is written for our, uh, like, um, understanding how we can identify our classifications things only these are the only classification things any anything anything hello hey manish yes yes uh, actually i have one query uh, let me show the folder structure. I have one page there. Uh, yes, the what uh, structure? Your voice is a little bit. Could you? Just... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So is it okay? Hello, yes. Yes. Uh, now my... you are. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hundred percent. So actually, I want the difference of the feature and the unit folder. What is the difference in that feature and unit? Yes. 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 Feature. Actually, you, uh, I have made. Let me. That's very. Uh, features. It's nothing but like uh, suppose if you want to test any the particular things features. Uh, here uh, you can also make a report. Uh, this will uh, covered in the code coverage things. Like uh, suppose uh, the code coverage when when you cover these things, uh, this will get covered in the code coverage like where you want to generate your report suppose the unit you run the unit test you run the unit test cases and the based of this unit test you you want to generate the report so you have to create you, you don't need to like create here features I, i'm going to delete this okay i'm going to delete this and nothing, nothing will happen Actually, basically, my understanding is that uh, the feature means the our uh, actual project concept means uh, our actual project uh, just just like the uh, our project feature we can implement there. This is my thinking. Yes, yes, yes. From there, like you can see, I have not. I, I am using the existing controller, like the controller okay. folder, whatever. Like I have created the PHP unit testing in my uh, like controller where is the quad so what i have to do just we have to tell the program where is my file where is okay. my file i am going to the file locations is this they will read controller from here okay and based on this they will execute i am going to and the setup is a functions is the Hundred percent similar, like the constructor in PHP. Right. You can, uh, uh, whatever you will write, you have to mention here in the PHP XML. Okay. Here, like uh, yes. here, I have a mentions the features. There is a test suffix. I uh, here I have a mention. Features. I don't want to use the features. No problem. Okay, so we can write everything in unit as well, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This is the base file where your PHP unit framework first read this XMLs and based on that they operate. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, anyone anything else yes i have one question <clears throat> please that is the tear down okay setup and tear down there is two basic methods we are used basically for the data as right correct so setup is used as a like constructor but i have yes. checked like setup 
is running two times whenever we are using the like setup and tear down or tear down basically use the execution at the last moment right at the last right. method but setup is every time if i have the three methods that means three functions three test cases in a single unit test right and mm -hmm. we are using the setup then setup method likely use like run three times if we have the three methods why what is the reason for this uh, no so basically tear down is a uh, method as you told you it's execute mm -hmm. after each test cases yes tear down is fine but i am told i just i am asking about the setup method suppose yeah yeah setup. Am, yeah, yeah yeah please please suppose if i am using the like database uh, data isolation testing okay so okay. like if i insert a record as per account like my test requirement okay so we need to just like insert in the setup method right mm -hmm. so if i execute this test cases then the three like the insert data are inserting three times if we have the three methods correct so what is the but i want only one time like i want only one single records uh, no, uh, no, for, for, for the setup things this will this will uh, get called before each functions before each method yeah before each method so, so can we prevent this suppose if my requirement is uh, only you want to you want to call a setup only in one uh, only one time yes uh that's a good question so i don't have a, a answer yet so i will come up with this okay 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 but and yes yes i just like uh, check the documents here like uh, if we like uh, roll back okay that means if we roll back our inserted data right okay so there is a like manually we should like delete all the records or empty the tables whatever we have inserted during the unit test correct correct so is there any way without deleting manually that means i need to write the query for that particular deletion right so right. is there any other way we can truncate the data without using manual query what i'm trying to say yeah yeah i understood you are saying for the basic test cases i have a inserted few junk data, data in my db yes and after the test case i want to, to clear that all yeah. that clear the data yeah i think i think you have to write something under the tear down functions but i i, I haven't tried yet but i think yeah. you have to write something in the tier. yeah i have to write the tear down and those query are manually like to, to yes, yes, those, those, those yes, yes 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 because this is uh, exactly uh, the answer of your questions uh, the tear down functions comes yeah so whenever uh, the tear down functions and setup functions is because the setup functions every fun uh, like under the tear down you can uh, clear each suppose uh, some things you are using for the sessions you have a use uh, the particular para parameters under the sessions and now for the second functions you want to use same parameters then you can clear under the tear down and in the setup this variable will get reinitialized okay okay that's good i will uh, i will come up with uh, like uh, how to prevent and uh, basically i want to call the setup functions in only one time it's set up before close i think so okay each method like i have to mention setup before class in each method each uh, test cases right yes no in this class before uh, in this class you can use set instead of setup setup before class or you can create a setup before class function to call once for, for all the class particular test case setup before class okay Okay, uh, see, can you write a simple test cases for API call that will assert the status code? 
Sure. Uh, say, yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah. I will write and uh, serve in the doc. I will write and serve in the doc. Anyone have anything? Okay, so if uh, anyone have uh, no question, so we can uh, just close this call. Uh, tomorrow we'll probably check uh, the code coverage things and uh, the API call, whatever the Mr. Sheikh has asked. Or uh, any things you want to discuss in the PHP unit test uh, related to PHP unit test and code coverage, uh, please write, which we will try to cover in tomorrow call. So I think I yes, Sora, please. Yeah. So, uh, uh, do we get the uh, like uh, tutorial PPTs uh, along with this recording to refer into? Yeah, sure, hundred percent sure. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hmm. So, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, Manish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.